Hello and welcome back to Todd Audio. Uh, just a little vlogging update that I thought I'd do. Um, if you've been watching on one of my recent videos, I've been talking about how I've been trying to enhance the productivity and the flow of the video aspect of producing these songs and videos at the same time and trying to simplify everything so that I don't have to think as much about the video and can focus more on the music but still get video footage in the meantime to use for videos. So I've worked on that a little bit more recently and I actually just kind of went through all my old stuff and found any old little camera that I could find. So I have like one of the first GoPros. I think it's the first or second one that came out. Got my video stuff here and the first thing I'll do a lot of times now is grab my old GoPro. It's like one of the first or second to have come out, but it works fine. Uh, turn it on. And then I just put it on top of there on the panel or somewhere so I can get a full wide angle view of the room and what's going on and kind of just another angle. And there it is. It's rolling. So that way if I don't have any other cameras running or anything, I can just capture some background footage of what goes on in here to talk about. I can just set it up, the camera's rolling, and I basically forget it's there. So even if I don't turn on another camera to get a closer up shot or something, I'll have something to fill in that footage. Then I'll also use my DSLR camera. And with my DSLR, I can get closer up, more detailed shots, and if it's really a project I want to get involved with, I can use more footage from the DSLR and still have the backup GoPro footage. I have a remote for my DSLR, so when I point that, I can use the remote to focus it, hit another button to start recording, and I also use a direct line input coming from my studio or whatever I'm recording with going directly into my camera. So just an eighth inch direct line input is what I usually use if I want to get accurate audio of what I'm recording into my video on my DSLR. So then the audio is clean. It's in sync with the camera footage and I have backup footage of the GoPro. basically simplified it a lot um, compared to what I was doing in the beginning so over time I found out ways to make things easier and uh, I hope this maybe gave you some ideas or this was helpful or interesting to you in some way if you're struggling with wanting to record video footage of something else you're doing in the meantime and having to manage both the video aspect and the other side of things um, these are some of the things that I've done that will hopefully help out in the future if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up and as always please subscribe to the channel and have an awesome day